Okay, I want to ask so you. You only played two years in in uni, huh? Yeah, a year and a half on season. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, when you left halfway through, I was like, yo, what's what was going on over there? But you played for like our Ontario Tech the first season they ever had a team, huh? Yeah. What was that like? It was must have been like Man. weird program, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it was just crazy. Honestly, the thing is, we had a lot of weapons. And I was confident in my team and mm-hmm. the team that we had, but we just couldn't put it together, man. That's really, I think that's just the best way to put it. We mm-hmm. couldn't put it together because now they're doing good. They're doing good right now? It's crazy. They're actually ranked nationally. No, they're I not. I swear. No. They're like great rank ninth. And I was like, Whoa. yo, that's crazy. Like, what a, a turn of, what a crazy turn of event, you know what yeah. I mean? But it's just, uh, we just couldn't put it together, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, I think also, I'm really big on perspectives. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Ah oh, man, we were like a really young team. Like I think at the time, yeah, we were really young. It was like almost like all first year guys. We're like we had like um maybe uh one guy that was like that actually had experience in the OUA. Mm-hmm. Everybody else was like all like fresh puppets. Kids, really. yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So even me figuring it out, like mm-hmm. I remember like the first two games that I had the season was trash. Cause I didn't I didn't know I, I didn't know what's going on, honestly. I just went on the court and I was like, yo, whatever mm-hmm. happens, happens, you feel what I'm saying? But then the first two games that I had, I think it was against one game was against York and the other one against Concordia. Mm-hmm. I had maybe like maybe eight or like nine points. Just, yeah, man. the first two games. Mm-hmm. And then when I started picking it up was uh the first game against Laurentia, yeah, against Laurentia. Mm-hmm. Shoot, twenty five points. Yeah, and then from yeah. there it just it just kept going up, 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 up. And then yeah. I was like I started getting like some like popularity like throughout the league. Mm-hmm. And then it was just like okay, from that point I was like, Okay, yeah, I'm, I think I'm kinda of established now. And then, you know what I'm saying? That was it. But first year was, was a hassle, man. Like, it was just, just trying to put all the pieces together, you know, new coach, um, dealing with um, the people at the on the campus, like uh, the gym, trying not to not give us gym time. Like, it was just, it was too much going on. Like, yeah, too much going on. It's weird, because isn't it like Ontario Techs with like Durham or some shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's my shit. But yeah. like, also, too, you were like, you were the best player on your team. So, like, you you probably had never really dealt with like teams scouting for you and shit like that, you know. I'm not gonna lie, Carlton got the best of me. Of course, Carlton got the best of me, man. <laughs> oh man, these guys and it was like it was like also it, it was really easy because it was like they really really had, really had to focus on one guy because mm-hmm. it, it pretty much every like the whole like system kind of ran through me. I would say that, yeah. and then it was just like damn, okay, yo. So in that case, let's get the uh, I'm trying to get the other guys involved. Mm-hmm. But so the other guys are like young guys too, so it's yeah. like. They kind of like scared. They're not really sure what they, they can and cannot do. Mm-hmm. We're playing against guys who are like fourth, third, fourth, fifth year. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Alain. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Those those guys. You know? So it's like, damn, bro. So it's like, it was insane. But I'm not gonna lie. The following year, well, after COVID, mm-hmm. when we um played against them, it was a lot more different because now we had on my team. I think we had um Anthony Pate, we had Kalik, mm-hmm. we had AB also started playing with us too. Yeah. So we had some good weapons. So it was it was a whole different ball game because I was like, mm-hmm. okay, the the, the whole attention was on me, just on me, right? It was yeah. like me, it was Kalik, also was a great scorer. You have Pate as well. So it was just like, um, it was just better because now I actually have people that I can, you know what I'm saying, like I can play with. You, mm-hmm. know what I'm like you were probably like a guy on campus because like taking you the first <laughs> like good player. Like did you win an award? I did. I, I didn't win an award. They you gave it, rookie of the year or They gave it to Lloyd. Oh yeah, but yeah, he was doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, he was doing his thing. <laughs> he was doing his thing and they were also winning. So yeah, it was yeah. like, ah oh, man, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect to have that season that I had, mm-hmm. like I, I, I think I had a pretty good season. I was, I was scoring like about like I was averaging about twenty one a game, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying. So I feel like I had really good, I had pretty good numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're just losing. But um, I mean on campus, I wouldn't really say a guy necessarily. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because but I mean, the, the school was was messing with me. But like OUA is low key harder than people think. The lie, like it is, it's just man. a bunch of grown men. It like, is, but people it, it's because it's because it's kind of basketball. That's mm-hmm. why they don't really take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like. Yo, there's a lot of hoopers out here that can hoop. I mean, like you, for example. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like where actually Canada has a lot of talent. People Yo, they, just the people say that every t- any nigga that comes yeah. from God, they say the same shit. Like Canada, like how we're just slept on. You know? Yeah, like, we actually have good ass players. But that, that's why. That's why. But that's why. Like even that. Like I love to like. That's why the, the trash talk. I just love to hear it because whenever yeah. I go to the states, they're like, "Oh yeah, Kim niggas suck, man." You know what I'm saying? These be talking shit. I'm just like, yeah. "Yo, like I just and I." That just motivates me. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yo, it's like you don't, you, don't, you don't even know what's going on, really, but yo, yeah. you just see after the game. You know yeah. what I mean? So, I just, I, I honestly, I, I love that kind of like, I just, I mean, it makes me feel like I'm an underdog. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just like, okay, yeah, like, you want to just say, you guys think about this? Okay, yeah. yeah, we'll show you, we'll show you what's going on for real. Even be- but before, before Ontario Tech, yeah, what made you even go there? 
Um, ooh, that's a good question. I think at the time uh, I was coming back from JUCO, that didn't work out. So I was like, okay, what am I gonna do now? And then Emil, Emil was like, yo, uh, Ontario Tech is about to open up, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, start a program over there, and not OUA. And at first I was like, nah, I'm not going to OUA because I remember they were like, yo, I think uh, they're trying to rec- recommend to go to Carlton. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to go to Carlton. Then out of you as well. And I was like, yo, I don't want to go to these schools. Yeah. Like, I already, like, play against them. I don't want to play with them. Yeah, and it would have been hard to be a star there. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, I'm trying to go somewhere I can have, a, like, an, an, like an, an impact, like, immediately from the start. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I want to play against those guys. And then he's like, yo, what to start about? Nah, nah, nah. So we played in OU way that I lost. I said, OU way? He's like, yeah, like, Laurentian. So at the time, there was, like, Kadri Gray. Mm-hmm. Ryerson had a... To Nord, the big, the yeah. huge guy. Bryson was good. Like Bryson before you came. Before I came. Yo, oh, okay. Nice. Okay, yeah. But they had also Coco as well. Yeah. Like, the, like the Bryson, like had a good squad. Mm-hmm. Then it was you guys, you and uh, and um, Locke. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying. So it, it was just like I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me give it a try. And I went on campus. I think it was around my birthday that I went uh, in 2019. Mm-hmm. And then shoot, I was just like, I went to, on, on a visit. And yo, they showed me so much love. I said, yo, I just have to sign right now. Yeah, you know yeah, like, yeah. I was like, yo, I, I can't. I'm not gonna waste or like even wait you know, any longer. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like it's gonna be a good situation. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll leave Ottawa, come here, and then you know, just get settled down here and see like where it's gonna take me. So yeah, that's pretty much that. So it didn't take like I, I'm still thinking about you. So right that day, you were like, I'm going. <laughs> I swear, it, it was it was me, uh, Emil, Emil Joe was down there. Me, Emil, and then I think two more guys that came on a visit ish. Mm-hmm. And then when I came on the visit, it was just like, yo, we played two on two. We got we got to a little workout. They paid for my all my meals. Yeah, we ate. Sure. Yeah. We went to the hotel. So I was like, yo, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought this was an American, an American thing. I didn't think college could do that. I mean, yeah. I think college could do that. But when that happened, I don't know if it's on camera, but when that happened, I was like, yo, yeah, I'm signing with you guys. Yeah. I was like, yeah, because, you know, I was like, I was signing with you guys. It's not, it's not a bad thing. But wait, so that means you only took one Canadian visit. I took one Canadian because I already I knew, I knew about us already. I already knew yeah, Carlton. I knew Ottawa U. So I was like, yeah. I already know what you guys are about. Mm-hmm. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Okay, whatever. And I went to uh, Tech. And I was like, yo, this is fun. And mm-hmm. I was like, yo, like school to Toronto. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm going there. So it's a good location. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, yeah, exactly. So I'm like, yo, I'm going there for sure. Like, mm-hmm. I'm right to Toronto. I'm not in Toronto, but I'm running to Toronto. Like, the weather is not so bad down here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ottawa is just ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? Of, it's like, it's low-key as bad as Thunder Bay. No exactly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm like, yo, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. So, I'm like, yo, let me just go there and then start mm-hmm. my basketball career there, my college basketball career there, and see what happens. And mm-hmm. that was it. So, what were your, like, expectations going into uh, the, that season? That's the first year. Like, were you expecting the team to be good, even though you said you had players? Like, yeah. were you expecting the team to actually perform or? I didn't think we would only get one one win. That's <laughs> one I, one win in the year. We one only once. Oh yeah, yeah that's kind I didn't. Of wild. I didn't expect yeah, that. I didn't expect us to only have one win. I I thought we would get like maybe like nine, maybe like five, like five, like five to nine mm. at least. You know what I'm saying? Like and then when it was only one win, I said shoot. When I when I understood that that we wouldn't like like really go far and like <laughs> really be successful in the season, I said you know what? I think it's time to back up the numbers. Yeah, yeah. I was like you know so you know what I'm saying I was like, I was at like, that I think, point. Yeah, I said I think the thing is just I think I just need to like. Like do what I gotta do, and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like just get my tape, whatever. And the following year, we'll try again. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And COVID happened. I was like, damn. That ruined. Yeah. Shit. I and can't then, then, like a lot of players fell victim to COVID. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of players, like you know what I'm saying? You think, oh yeah, and then boom, COVID happened, and then it just like, ooh, like it was crazy. But um, uh, personally, even the um, the whole thing, like the the, I think I won maybe like I was winning like at the end of the week almost every single week at school. Yeah. Um. I was getting like shouts from OUA a few times. I got yeah, yeah, I got shouts from OUA like a few times as well. Um, but I didn't really have any big expectations, honestly, because I don't know lie. Emil, even my coach, like really believed in me. They were like, "Yo, like mm-hmm. we think you could be like a, a rookie of the year." And I was like, "Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah." I was like, "Okay, <laughs> whatever." You know what I'm saying? But I didn't really think that I was gonna even get like like nominated for that award. Mm-hmm. But then when I was like, I think there was one time before the before the uh, winter break. I was on. I was at the, at the foul line, shooting a free throw, and it was screaming MVP. I said, "Huh?" Mm-hmm. At home, <laughs> you're yeah, at home. Right? And I was like, uh-huh. I said, "Oh yeah. shoot!" I said, "Okay, I guess like yeah. maybe you know what I'm saying." It, like it's really what it is. Yeah, no, but, you because you were actually tweaking because I remember even when we played you guys. I don't really remember how you played, but I just remember like you were the only factor. Like when we were playing you guys, like 
we knew okay if we stop this guy it's, it's good to I'm go I'm not gonna lie yo I messed it up that that, that was the last game of the season too what's but, the word mm-hmm. when I came to when we came to uh, Thunder Bay yo crazy so the night or maybe a couple hours before mm-hmm. I went in the pool mm-hmm. But nobody ever told me you should never do that before a game. Change your whole so yo, I went to the game and I'm like, yo, why am I feeling so tired? Like I yeah. slept, everything, I shot, like I did yeah. my my whole like game day routine, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm like, why am I feeling tired right now? Like why am I feeling so exhausted? <laughs> and then after the game, I'm like, yo, fam. I talked to my niggas, I'm like, yo, fam, I'm so tired. Like, yo, what'd you do before the game? So I went to the pool. Said, I said, Wait, oh, you did it before the game? Yeah, yo, like I went to the pool. Because yo, cause because I think they had like um um so I think it was from like nine AM to like ten PM. And we came went to went to go eat after went to go eat or some something was sort. And when we mm-hmm. came back, I was like, Yeah, I wanna go to the pool. Like, yeah. huh? So I went to the pool. I think yeah, before the game, chilling with the guys, I'm having the, 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 the blast, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next thing you know, yo, I go to the game, I'm like, yo. Well, once I'm like, yo, usually like I get like a few like you know what I'm saying, layups and then I'm like, okay, now I'm good. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, it's not the energy's not beat. it's not it's not picking up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, yo. But yeah, and our crowd is kind of zoop too. The crowd is yo. Our crowd is actually like intimidating, and and, and it's a small gym too. Yeah. Like it's not it's not that big. So it was like it was like there was niggas right there, there was niggas up there too. Yeah. So I'm just like yo. And then I had um I can't remember who's wearing me. It was the the light skin guy. Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah? Isaiah? Yeah. Like the score. Right? Yeah, yeah, Isaiah, yeah. 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 And I was like, and he was talking shit too. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I was like, damn, bro, <laughs> them niggas. I mean, for a long night. For sure. Well, it's about I, to be a dog fight. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I played pretty good, though. I had, like, yeah. I had like 22. Yeah. So I was like, okay, at least I ended the season. Yeah, that's I was like, okay, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. So, moral of the story is don't jump in the pool before you get Yeah, man, that, that was a, oh, man. I, you know what? Every time I go to hotels, I go to weight games, I, I don't even go to the pool anymore. Mm-hmm. I just be like, you know what? I'm just like, find something else to relax. Mm-hmm. I don't even be doing that anymore. Yeah, I was thinking about the way I'm like, yo, did this guy go to Juco? So, wh- where'd you even go to Juco? I went to Texas, playing in um, Nevada College. So I went to Texas. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to Texas. Uh, went there, and it just didn't work out. Man, honestly, man, it was like I don't know a lot. Juco is different. Yeah, everyone <laughs> says that. Juco is wow, different. What's so crazy about yo? It's just like because it's just an environment where it's like every single person for himself trying to make it. Yeah, and it's like and it's like you have like groups where it's like it's like uh, a couple of niggas from New York. That would stick together. Yeah. Then if you get it, if you get to like maybe like bond with them, then you'd be like, okay, now we're all like riding all all together. Yeah. It's just like small groups of niggas, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like, oh man, you know what I mean? Like it's not it's not it's not like a whole team thing, you yeah, know. And then yeah. there's the niggas talking shit about the niggas. Like it's just like the environment is just very toxic. And yeah. then damn, and then I had the coaching staff, man, them niggas are not messing with me, bro. Yeah. But yeah, they're not, I don't know, they're not messing with me. But then also it was just like, yo, I remember one day, that's when I was like, yo, this is like Joker's actually not, not even real. <laughs> I remember one day, yo, they had me um like okay, yeah, uh so it's gonna be the schedule for the week, blah blah whatever, whatever. I remember when I first got there, I was so happy, I was like, Oh yeah, junior college, mm-hmm. boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? States now I was happy, bro. Get there, the nigga came gave me from the airport, uh the assistant coach came here from the airport, brought me to his house, slept there on, on the uh on the blue mattress. I'm like, yeah, bad, bad, bad. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Then the following day, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, when I get here, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I get my all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna be first in the gym, last in the gym, morning, go shoot, blah, blah, blah. And I heard like, they had a shooting gun. I said, yo, that's blessed. I didn't yeah. know what to do well for me. You know what I mean? Yo, I went like the first, listen, I went there <laughs> once, <laughs> used a shooting gun once. After yeah. that time, I never went again. And that was the time we didn't have practice. Yeah. That's one time I went, it was at the start of the year. Then the following week, that's when, that's when training camp started. Mm. Yo, nah. Shaking training camp up. was insane, bro. Like, when I tell you we run for anything, mm-hmm. we run for anything. God forbid somebody sweat on, sweat on the court. We're running. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Yo. It was, like, literally insane. And then mm-hmm. I remember that one thing that said, I said, yeah, it, it was different. Well, this one time, we, we went uh, a mile in the morning. Mm-hmm. Ran a mile in the morning. And then I, right <laughs> after that, I had class. So I had class. And then uh, we had uh, weights, uh, like, I think 145. So I finished class maybe, like, like 11. Mm-hmm. And now I just ran a mile. So now I'm sore. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, now we went to the gym to go uh, run over some couple of plays. Mm. I'm like, okay, interesting. Then I get back to my room. It's like, I have weight at like 145. So I'm like, okay, 12, let's do the ball, maybe like 12, 12 something. Mm-hmm. I get in the room. I'm like, yo, I'm sore. I got to stretch. Stretch 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Boom. It's already uh, like 12, mm-hmm. 12, 45, whatever. 
no, nah, I can't even sleep. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, just go to it. Let me just get, let me, before I get there late, let me just get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get there, boom, everybody's there, you know what I'm saying? Talking, blah, 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 chop, 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 it up. I'm like, okay, we go, oh, wait, boom, 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 boom. Wait for like maybe like uh, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Boom. It's like, okay, let's get to the gym. Practice. Practice? I'm like, yo, I go, dribble, so I should, yo, the ball, phew. I said, I said, yo, what? Bro. After that, I was like, yo, like, we literally did arms. Mm-hmm. They talk about, yo, getting the gym, start shooting the ball. Such a yeah. new what? Such a new I was, yo, I was, bro, after that, I was like, yeah, Juco is not a real thing, bro. It yeah. is insane. Bro. So did, oh, what were you going to say? No, I was, I was going to say, everyone who goes Juco, they say they work like, like, horse in them, bro. Like, I don't everyone. know. I don't understand, but I don't understand what's the purpose, like, the whole point. I don't get it. Because you know what it is? Everyone there is trying to level up. Yeah. Coaches want to coach D1. Exactly. The players want offers, true, you know? True, true, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, no, I was going to say, because it's like, so, what we see on Last Chance, you, yeah. like, <laughs> that's, that's what, that's, yeah. that's, that's, what, what, that's, that's what, what it is. Like, there. That's what yeah. we're going over there. And then niggas, yeah. and especially like niggas in the, um, like the, the South, yeah. the South part of America, Man, them niggas be on some other shit, bro. So, All they know is work. Yeah. But I, yeah, shit, what are you, no, what are you gonna <laughs> No, because I just feel like it makes sense, though. Like, if I'm going to go to Juco, mm-hmm. I know everybody, like, you have to think of it, like, a lot of these people probably either got something happened while they're at Juco, so they're fighting to get back, right? So why would they be looking out for you when you could be taking their spot to get to D1? Yeah. So I could understand why people are very, like, I'm just here for me, because you realistically are. Like, you're in Juco yeah. for yourself to get to wherever you need to be. So, like, I guess for you, it was an adjustment coming from probably, like, teams where people were friends and stuff. Yeah, and we, people we here. Was, you know what I'm saying? I would play on teams and be like, yo, we're all buddy buddies. Yeah. We're all hanging around. I was about to say CTA. Is Because we play, he was at C, we were at CTA. Oh, okay, okay. Bro, that team, first of all, was crazy. That's crazy. We had, we were OP. Like, we had us two, JD, Aiden, Kaleem, Freaking Jevy, Danny, yo, Amara, I don't know, I don't know how Enoch. how Tony House put his whole team together, but yo, we had like literally like all the best from Ottawa and like one team, like yeah. it was insane, yeah, we actually like, and it worked out, right? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. like it was like you know what I'm saying it was insane, but I I was there the first year, the following year because we played Ottawa lead, yeah. but the following year I was supposed to play with him, mm-hmm. but we, I I left to go to to the states as well, mm-hmm. so but yo, like we had like the Best place from Ottawa. Yeah, one that team. was a, that and was we, insane. It was ridiculous, bro. And even we, our Ottawa elite team. Yeah, it, like it, like it was like CTA and Ottawa elite. It was just like all like stacked, like stacked, <laughs> bro. It was yo nah. That <laughs> those teams were insane. I ain't but, gonna lie. And even then, that's what I'm saying. Like we were such friends. Like CTA, like mm. just the vibes and the everyone there. Like we all really messed with each other. You know, and like, and it's, and, it's, and coming from like this that kind of situation. When I went to Juco, I was thinking like, oh, it's like was gonna be, but I was I was there for a rude awakening, bro. A rude, rude awakening, bro. I went there and I said, yo, what? Mm-hmm. I'm just like, cause they, they also there's like these niggas over there that I have like that I have like um that kind of know as well. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So they would come there with like this kind of like attitude, this kind of like ego, like this this whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. So that just that there itself, it's just like, oh man, I have to deal with this nigga every day. Trust you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you have niggas in practice like. You know, just like trying to fight people, like you say, like like, mm-hmm. like cussing, you know, what I'm saying cussing niggas out. Like it's just like, oh, yo, bro, like, Trust we don't, we don't me, need bro. all that. You know, what I'm saying, yeah. just, just, I'm just, I just came here to. They're you know, all on the edge, like exactly. All so and stuff. you know, what I'm saying, so just like, and then they were like, yo, do like, people just trying to have this persona where they're like the kind of the big dog persona, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I'm like, bro, don't try to have that persona. Like, let your game speak, and mm-hmm. then we'll give you that respect. Mm-hmm. Don't be just trying to talk, 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 mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? So. Man, yeah, I'm telling you. Bro. And plus, people don't realize, bro, like, you're going to be a role player. Like, if you think you're going to be the man, then you're not on a good team. Like, mm-hmm. you're going to be a role player because, like, the higher you go, the better the mans are. Yeah. So, it's like, bro, you're not going to be the best player on the team. And even if you are, you might not even just be scoring. Like, you might just, like, pass, you exactly. know, or defend. Like, I don't know. People, they don't understand how the shit works for real. Exactly. And that's even, that's even like, that was also, like, one of my... I also had another rude awakening, actually, as a matter of fact, because I was playing for, um, I had a chance to be part of training camp for the Blackjacks, mm-hmm. and me coming from Ontario Tech, I was like a one-man army yeah. type shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 it was a one-man army. So when I got to the Blackjacks, I was like, yo, okay, playing with pros, playing with pros, but then I was like, oh, shoot, okay, it's not Ontario Tech. Yeah, it's not Ontario <laughs> Tech. I said, damn, the niggas, yeah. the niggas here to hoop, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Real. So <laughs> it's like I'm, like, I'm like, shoot, I came from the season when I gave, I gave Laurentian and Kajay Gray, 25 points. Yeah. 
but I'm playing here in Cartier Grace seems very comfortable compared yeah. to me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> strange. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, it was like, and even in basketball, oh, like, it's not just like, just, um, how you call it? It's not just skills, man. It's mm. so much more. Like, the oh. mental aspect of the game is something that's your, like, just being comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, finding that, that, um, that space to be comfortable in the yeah. basketball court can take you from like, like, from like, an average player to like a whole, you know what I'm saying? But, and that's the thing. That's why, like, even me, I don't even like to speak so highly of myself mm-hmm. because I like to, like, um, experience different environments to see if I'm really like that. Where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. so I'm like, okay, yo, college, okay, whatever, whatever, pro, blah, blah, blah. Like, I feel like right now, I'm kind of pretty established because, you know, I, I played my first year as a professional basketball player and it went pretty well. Mm-hmm. But it's just, like, I feel like you never really know who you are until you really get thrown in, like, those kind of situations where you have to, like, level up. And yeah. Like, okay, yeah. This nigga right here is also good, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, what's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, that, that's a good attitude, though, to, like, to at least understand and be mm-hmm. aware of that, you know? Yeah, man. Because niggas would be like, yo, like, they will play somewhere, like, for example, where they know the level is not as good, mm-hmm. and then they will just, like, talk crazy and then have these, like, kind of expectations. But then it's like, when you start play, when you actually go play in a higher level, when you play with other people, would you have the same energy? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? But that's why, like, I tell people, like, yo, just, like, steer the course. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whatever you need to do, Go through it, you know what I'm saying? There'll be a time when you will be also able and you have the opportunity to like showcase your talent on a, on a bigger stage, bigger level. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? All the things that you're going through at the moment or whatever, it's just a preparation for what's coming. So, don't try to, you know what I'm saying, um, skip steps. Mm-hmm. You know, just stay the course, do what you gotta do. And then, once the time is right, you know what I'm saying? You're also gonna get that, that opportunity and also you'll be comfortable in the opportunity. Because being comfortable is where that's comfortable and being confident is where. Like that's the major thing, you know. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah. Take advantage. Exactly. Of if you don't have the confidence or you not feel, you not feel comfortable, like you know, what I'm saying you'll go from like someone that goes. I was playing college, uh, uh, being able to shoot the ball from anywhere, and then you go play the pro and then play pro and then shoot. You can't even shoot anymore because mm-hmm. it's all in your head. You know, what all I mean? mental. Exactly. Bro. So it's like you really have to like just pretty much stay the course, man. And then you know, what I'm saying. Uh, once you're you're gonna be ready at one point, but mm-hmm. just until then, just keep working. Honestly, yeah. So, yeah. it sounds like you've been in many different situations, though. So it's like, honestly, you know, I feel like God tests like a lot of people, but they give certain people different battles. You know, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. I feel like you could be ready to to handle a lot of different things, even though you may have not even come across them yet. True, like true. based on what you said, you've been in a lot of different situations where you know you either you're the guy you're not the guy you're dealing with people who might not like you fighting for your spot so it's yeah. like i don't know i feel like you're good going forward like I mean, whatever team shit. you're gonna be on at the end of the day i just i'm just trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be like um like a sponge you know mm-hmm. trying to mm-hmm. take what i can take from people you know seeing my peers even the people that i play against you know the competition as well and uh you know I, I, my whole thing for me is more so like i don't like to like necessarily come into a situation and then um, say anything about who I am really I like the guys and the people around me to figure it out and then if they feel like okay like he we sh- he should have like the ball in his hands more or if he should like you know what I'm saying like be in charge of certain things I like them to figure it out I like to just come in a situation and be like yo I'm, it's me I'm mm-hmm. here <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't, like do- yeah, I don't like doing that I'm more so like okay yo we're gonna play and then uh, you know what I'm saying I want you guys to figure it out like, okay yeah okay he's good you know what I'm going to trust them with the ball. All my team is, I want to give my, my, my team is trust. I don't mm-hmm. want to just come and just take stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, that's, I feel like that's that's weird. Mm-hmm. I just I like to come in situations and be like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to come here and play. And you know what I'm saying? If we vibe, we vibe. If we don't vibe, shoot. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Well, what's it called? So I just wanted to talk about, because you, you just came off an injury, right? And it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of severe, but how like, because mentally you seem to be in a good place, you know? Like, I see like, I've seen from your post like you're tapping in with God more and everything. Is that what helped you, you feel like, get through your injury and keep your head strong throughout Definitely, that process? Man. I ain't gonna lie, man. God, it's crazy guy. Working wonders, huh? <laughs> crazy guy. You see what I'm saying? Working wonders, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I can't even... That's why, like, even when people tell me they don't believe in God... That's crazy. I can't. I, I just... Because I, I'm... Myself, I'm a... Like, I'm a... Walk, like, God uses me in so many different ways and has yeah. like shown me his hand so many times mm-hmm. that for me to go out there and say God does not exist or not acknowledge him, oh, I'll be foolish. A fool. Yeah, you'd not be a diss. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Foolish. Because I'm like, I feel personally, I feel like I'm a, I'm a walking miracle. Like the things that I've been through, the things that I had to go through and me still being here, mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, impossible. But now the injury was a severe injury. I'm not going to lie. It happened at a very, at a very random, random time as well. 
So it happened like around April last year. Um, fully torn Achilles. You know what I'm saying? So that happened at, like, in the game. Um, and then I was. What did you do? Like you were yo, I was I was or... backpedaling. Yeah. And then I tried to go back forward. Oh, yo, okay. it just I just Oof. snapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I literally, I the feeling was literally this. I thought my teammate came and stepped and, on you. Bro, I kicked me. Oh shit. Back, Yeah, like like right here. I thought <laughs> yeah. you came and then yo, give me you know what I'm saying, leg ass. Yeah. What? <laughs> And then, so then after the game, I asked him, I was like, yo, my nigga, did you? He's like, nah, yeah. I didn't touch you. So I, I'm looking at the, at the film and I'm like, I just fell. I yeah. said, what? So mm-hmm. when that, when this whole thing came into place, I was like, you know, okay, went back to the, the, the hotel room because it was an away game. Hotel room, ice still, whatever, crutches, all that. I'm like, yo, it's not serious, not serious, not, not serious, not serious. Get back to Montreal, do an MRI. MRI goes, boom, wait like maybe like two, three days. I was anxious. I'm like, yo, like, mm-hmm. Yo, I don't know what's going on, but yo, I, I just hope it's not serious. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Boom. Get by the results. Fully tone Achilles. Ten, oh, some, ten, 10 centimeters long. I said, yo, insane. You know what I'm saying? So from that point on, the scene was over. The yeah. scene was done for me. Um, Shoot. It was really sad. You know what I'm saying? I was going through hard times. But, man, I just kept... Phew, I kind of... I don't know My feet at that point was kind of shaky because it was just like, I would have happened at that specific time. Like, you know, I was... I so many different plans in my head. I was like, yo, this summer, you know, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, go maybe play on the, on the biggest stage. You know, what, what can I, what can I, what can I go from here? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when that happened, it was kind of just like, okay, pause. Like, now what's going to happen? See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, but I had a really good support system, honestly. My family was there uh, to help me out. Uh, my pastor was always, you know, uh, just there for me, you know, but it also took me, it also took for me to like actually go out there and seek help. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I didn't just, I didn't just stay home and then, you know what I'm saying? I had to go seek help. Yeah, and yeah. Before I, I got, I had to get, I got to get any help. I had to help myself first. Mm-hmm. So when I did that, everything just became kind of second nature. Mm-hmm. So that was good. And then, yeah, I just, man, tapped in with God. And then I just pretty much surrendered to him. And I said, yo, honestly, not that my will be done, but whatever you want for me, like let it happen. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like ever since I started like looking at, at it from that perspective, it's just been like peace, honestly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Whatever happens, I'm like, yo, shoot, I prayed this morning. Mm-hmm. So I know whatever happens. Yeah. He healed out. He's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. once that was that was kind of like, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing for me, I was like, you know, there's nothing else that needs to be said. You know, we just have to go and run the course and see what happens. So, mm-hmm. No, that's a great mindset still. Like when when that's how you think, like when you when you realize it's not really in your control, like mm-hmm. it's just God, you know, like mm-hmm. you just doing whatever he's going to do, like, that's when you could be at ease with whatever happens in exactly, life, you know? Exactly, exactly. But it's still like, why me, though? You know, like, <laughs> that's the worst part because, yeah. you know, I've had injuries too and you just be, you're thinking like, why though? Mm-hmm. Like, what did I do for this? And then later on, maybe something good will happen, but you can't see it right when you're right yeah. there. But like, you have a good mindset where if something does happen, you know, obviously there's a reason even though it's, it's, it's kind of shitty that it happened, yeah, you know? It is, it is. No, it was definitely shitty because, you know, it was just like, I didn't expect, any, you know what I'm saying? And I was mm-hmm. like, yo, I am playing for like almost a year. I went to the U.S. And that was the year when I left Ontario Tech. Yeah, because it has been it had been a while since exactly. you Exactly. So, so, so it was like Ontario Tech, boom. I leave Ontario Tech. Then COVID happened. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, damn. Okay, Tech, I don't, I don't know what's, what's going to be the future. Because it's like they already had a, a, a lockdown. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. If, I don't want to wait on them to see if they're going to they're gonna start the season again or if they're not going to stop. Yeah. I said, yo, you know what? Let me just leave. Boom left. So then it was like more so trying to find situations. And then, you know what I'm saying? Went to the States a few times. Uh, worked out with uh, Capital Courts. Really good. That's, that's actually my guys. Like, they actually during the whole COVID thing, even t- until now, they supported me a lot. You know, Merrick, um, Nate, all the guys, they helped me a lot. So during that time, it was more so trying to find situations. But in the meantime, just staying ready. Mm-hmm. So um, when I left there, I went to the States also. When I went to the States, that's when I got the opportunity to play for. Uh, to get in contact with the GM for Tundra mm-hmm. and that's how everything happened but even then it was like I didn't start I, saw, I stopped playing like competitive basketball like in January of 2022 and then didn't end up playing till March 2023 yeah, so true. it was like pretty much like a, a year and uh, three months mm-hmm. of me just trying to like figure out what was going to happen you know, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a contract in January 2023 but we didn't we didn't really start like playing 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 until like March mm-hmm. so right. it, was like, it was like a year and like three months for me just like you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get my mind right, like, you know, staying, like, not necessarily seeing what's going to happen forward, yeah. but just keeping the faith. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? It was just pretty much all that. It paid off. And then when it paid off, I got hurt. I was like, yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? That's how it be, you know? It's just like, it never happens when you think it's supposed to happen. It's yeah. just going to happen in God's time, you know? Exactly. So, like, what's, what do you think's next for you? Like, what, what's your plans, like, for next season, trying to go overseas, man, like, trying to play know. CBO? I try to tell them, man, wherever the money's right, I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just I kidding. Agree. I'm just kidding. But on, on a serious note, though, basketball is still a thing for me. Right now, the moment, obviously, I'm looking for an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um. So whatever comes my way, um, you know, I feel like it's gonna be God given. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely take it, but ask for guidance as well. At the same time, though, I stopped school before, so I'm trying to get back to that. Mm -hmm. But only doing online because I, I can keep it basketball at the same time. Yeah. So I'm trying to finish my degree, uh, graduate from uh, um, university, and then you know, in case basketball like slows down or whatever, I still have that on the back pocket. Facts. So I can still work. So I, I didn't have that mm -hmm. mindset before. I was like, yo, basketball and nothing else. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot but, of people think that, bro. Yeah, it's not that, bro. Yeah, it's not, yeah. yeah. When, but when I finally started realizing, like, yo, like, especially, even, like, these moments right now, yeah. like, I, maybe if I already had my degree, I could have got, like, a job, government job, and, and just, like, keep basketball, like, just wait on basketball until you know, mm -hmm. things open up. But mm -hmm. now I'm kind of, like, kind of stuck a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, shoot, you know, whatever happened, happened. So now it's just more so just uh, trying to be smarter, you know, my decision in the future. Mm -hmm. But now, yeah, I'm just, um, what's it called? We have an announcement soon, but I'm not gonna say nothing about it just yet. Yeah, that's just but you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, no, just basketball, man, basketball, and finishing my degree. You know what I'm saying. That's pretty much what I have in my my, my mind right now. Mm. What what degree though? It's a uh, communications and uh, media digital studies. Okay, okay, that's yeah. what's up. So, so I'm doing, man. You know what I'm saying. I took whatever I took in college because I was trying to just get by. Every, took, everyone's took on basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my whatever they can. That was my whole thing. Yeah. Stuff to basketball, man. It's, it's tough because outside of it's hard. Like when you hoop all your life, like mm -hmm. you have, it's like it's hard to figure out you. What do you want to do? What the fuck do I like yeah, to do? Yeah, exactly. What do I like to do? Exactly. My mom asked me a question all the time. She's like, "Yo, what do you like? Like outside, like it's like yo outside of basketball. Nothing. We, we know, we know what you know. You love basketball. What's yeah. what like? I'm like. I don't, know. Yeah, I, yeah, like, I, don't know. Know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But yeah, we wanted to just thank you for coming. It's been a good ass convo with my dog, you for know. Sure, for sure, yeah, for sure. For sure. This is a must watch. Make sure you stay tuned to see what's next for him in his pro career and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah.